number 225. A girl on a bicycle coasts downhill covering 4 feet the first second, 12 feet the second second, and in general 8 feet more each second than the previous. If she reaches the bottom at the end of 14 seconds, how far did she coast? So ito, isa rin example to ng arithmetic series problem. Kasi nag increase daw yung speed niya every second. So mas humahaba yung nakakover niyang distance by 8 feet more each second. So yung unang distance natin na 4 feet, ito yung A1 natin. Tapos, yung 8 feet more each second, ito yung nadadagdag, ito yung common difference natin, or D. Tapos, sabi niya, if she reaches the bottom at the end of 14 seconds, 14 seconds, ito yung N natin. Kasi every second, meron tayong distance na cover At nag increase siya every second. So, yung N natin ay 14. So, ang hinahanap natin dito, how far did she coast? So, ito yung total distance. Or yung sum ng arithmetic series natin, or SN. So, given itong mga values na to, isolve natin yung SN. So, para masolve natin yung SN, kailangan natin ng A1, ng AN, at ng N. So, meron na tayong A1 at N. Ang kailangan na lang natin ay yung AN. So, para masolve natin yung AN, or A14, kasi up to 14 yung terms natin. A14 is equal to A1, which is 4, plus N minus 1, 13, times yung common difference na 8. So, yung A14 natin, or AN natin, is equal to 4 plus 13 times 8, 108. So, 108 yung A14 natin. So, para malaman natin yung sum, SN is equal to yung A1 natin, which is 4, plus yung last term natin, which is 108, divided by 2, times N, which is 14. So, yung SN natin, 4 plus 108 divided by 2 times 14. So, tamang sagot ay 784. So, dun sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. Number 226. When all odd numbers from 1 to 101 are added, the result is blank. So, madalas sumalabas tong problem na to sa mga quiz B. Sa unang tingin, parang mahirap. Pero kapag na-realize mo na arithmetic series lang to, napakadali lang isolve nito. So, from 1 to 101, sabi niya, all odd numbers. So, ano bang difference ng dalawang odd numbers? So, 1 for example, anong susunod na odd numbers sa 1? 3, 5, 7. So, pag mapapansin mo, yung difference ng dalawang odd numbers ay 2. So, 2 na kagad yung common difference mo. At meron kang first term, A1 is 1, at yung AN mo is 101. Ngayon, ang hinahanap natin ay yung sum ng arithmetic series, or SN. At masasolve mo yung SN kapag alam mo yung A1, AN, at N. A1 plus AN divided by 2 times N. So, meron tayong A1 which is yung 1, AN which is yung 101, at yung N hahanapin natin gamit yung formula na AN is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, yung AN natin ay 101, yung A1 natin ay 1, yung N natin, hindi pa natin alam yung N, N minus 1, times yung common difference natin na 2 times 2 so masasolve natin ngayon yung n so ilipat natin yung 1 sa kabila maging 100 lang to divided by 2 is equal to n minus 1 so yung n natin is equal to i-add natin yung 1 sa kabila maging 51 so ngayon masasolve na natin itong sn kasi alam na natin yung value ng n natin which is 51 So, yung A1 natin ay 1. Kaya tignan na natin to. 1. Yung AN natin ay 101. So, ang value ng SN natin is equal to 1 plus 101 divided by 2 times 51. So, 
tamang sagot ay 2,601. So, doon sa choices, letter B ang tamang sagot. Number 227. How many times will a grandfather's clock strike in one day if it strikes only at the hours? And strikes one at one o'clock, twice at two o'clock, thrice at three o'clock, and so on. So, hinahanap natin dito yung total number of times that the clock will strike. So, yung total number of times, yun yung SN natin, or sum of arithmetic series natin. Kasi arithmetic series to, kasi nag-increase ang number of times na mag-strike yung clock every hour. So, yung SN natin ay unknown. Yan yung hahanapin natin. So, ganito yung series natin. From 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, hanggang 12 o'clock. Tapos yung number of times na mag-strike daw yung clock natin ay 1, 2, 3. So, the same lang sa hour niya. Hanggang 12. So, ang hinahanap natin ay yung total number of times na mag-strike yung clock in one day or 24 hours. Kaya lang, sa mga lumang clock, hindi siya umaabot ng 24 hours. Hanggang 12 o'clock lang siya. So, dalawang beses siyang mag-12 o'clock doon sa mga lumang clock natin. So, ibig sabihin, kukunin lang natin yung sum of arithmetic series ng dalawang 12 hours. So, sa series na to, yung first term natin ay 1. Yung A1 natin ay 1. At yung common difference natin ay 1 din. Tapos, yung N natin ay 12. Kasi hanggang 12 lang siya. At the same din, yung AN natin 12 din. So, para masolve natin yung SN, kunin lang natin yung average ng A1 at ng AN. So, 1 plus 12 divided by 2, i-multiply natin ng number of N or N, which is 12. So, pag pinag-multiply natin yan, 1 plus 12 divided by 2 times 12. So, 78. Ito yung number of times na magsa-strike yung clock in 12 hours. So, since sa one day, meron tayong 24 hours, or dalawang 12 hours, yung multiply natin to ng 2. So, 78 times 2 is equal to 156. So, dun sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. Number 228. To conserve energy due to the present energy crisis, the Meralco tried to readjust their charges to electrical energy users who consume more than 2,000 kilowatt hours. For the first 100 kilowatt hour, they charge 40 centavos and increasing at a constant rate more than the preceding one until the fifth 100 kilowatt hour. The charge is 76 centavos. How much is the average charge for the electrical energy per 100 kilowatt hour? So still, this is an arithmetic series problem kasi nag increase constantly yung rate ng electrical energy natin. So, sabi dito, for the first 100 kilowatt hour, they charge 40 centavos. So, A1 natin is equal to 40 cents. And increasing at a constant rate, more than the preceding one. So, yung, so yung common difference natin, hindi pa natin alam. Wala siyang sinabi. Until the 5th kilowatt hour. So, nalaman na natin, sabi niya kasi 5th. So, yung N natin ay 5. At yung AN natin or A5 natin is equal to 76 centavos. So, the 5th kilowatt hour or the 5th 100 kilowatt hour, the charge is 76 centavos. So, naging 76 cents na siya at A5. How much is the average charge for the electrical energy per 100 kilowatt hour? So, meron tayong limang different rates. A1 up to A5. So, A1, A2, A3, A4, at A5. At ang hinahanap natin ay yung average daw ng mga charges na yun. So, since alam natin ng arithmetic series to, yung A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, alam natin na constantly increasing to. So, arithmetic series yan. And since alam na natin na yung average ng lahat ng terms na arithmetic series ay the same lang sa average ng first term at ng last term. So, masasolve natin yung average ng limang terms na to kahit hindi natin alam yung A2, A3, at A4. 
So yung average ng limang to ay simply the average of A1 and A5. So yung average natin is equal to yung A1 natin which is 40 plus 76 divided by 2. So 40 plus 76 divided by 2, 58. So dun sa choices, letter A ang tamang sagot, 58.